What's going on YouTube? Herb Wars here and today I want to talk about a very obscure system that I picked up a couple months ago and um, for some reason I've been in a kick on it. It is the Nokia N-Gage. This is a QD version and right now it's playing um, Ghost Recon Jungle Storm. Um, I don't know what made me purchase it. Well, I, could, I do know what made me purchase it. I saw it in my local game store and I always wanted this as a kid. This came out, I think, in 2003, 2004. I was in high school, and cell phones were starting to get pretty big then, but kids in high school back when I was in high school didn't really have them. Um, it was kind of getting popular for kids to start getting cell phones when they were seniors and whatnot, but it wasn't anything like this. And the reason I couldn't pick one of these up back then is because you needed a cell phone contract, and you had to be 18 or with a parent to get it. And uh, that wasn't in the cards for me. So I always wanted the N-Gage. And I know it's weird. Why would you want this this device that did terrible? But it was gaming. And I was like, I've always been collecting games. And I was always like a collector and always wanted it. So now that I'm an adult, I was able to pick it up. So, yeah, my goal with this, and this is a very crazy goal, is I want to get every N-Gage game that was released in North America. There's 58 total internationally but North America has 56 so yeah I'm just gonna start a new series I'm gonna probably do like a monthly pickup of the end game specifically I'm gonna call it like you know either the journey to the full collection of Engage. I haven't figured it out but anyway this is the first uh, video of that series and this is just showing off the Engage QD um, playing Ghost Recon Jungle Storm which is the first game here on the list. It's complete. And that's another thing. I want it complete. And then I have um, Operation Showdown. Then I just picked this one up today. Splinter Cell, Stealth Agent. Um, I got to get Google on to get rid of these stickers from the video game store. SSX Out of Bounds. This game is really cool. I've been playing this probably the most out of all the games. Um, Super Monkey Ball, which, who doesn't love Monkey Ball? This series is phenomenal. It's a little bit tough on this. I don't know if it's, uh, the controls aren't, I just can't figure them out yet or what, but I've had a hard time with it so far. And finally, Tomb Raider starring Lara Croft. So, so far, um, like I said, there's 56 American release games. Right now I have six. That means 50 to go. But I want to do like a documentation each month on my journey to co completing the collection. I think that'd be really fun. I've seen other YouTubers do it with a uh, Super Nintendo. I've seen people do it with a Nintendo. I've seen them do it with the Wii U. Uh, what's his name? Retro Game Collectors just did the Wii U one. I think it was eight parts. So I figured like each month we'll break down and see how many games I got for it and we'll do a countdown. Um, you know, as a game collector and gamer, you collect a bunch of different things. Sometimes if you go in fads, and recently I was going through the Konami fad on the original NES. Um, I'm just going to shift it up a little bit because Nintendo games are through the roof right now. Uh, this whole retro scene right now is just insanity to me. The prices that were a couple years ago compared to today, I'm just waiting for them to drop because the prices are crazy. And I don't know if it's, if it's going to remain at high. I really hope not. But I'm starting to see the fad die a little bit in the sense that people are emulating a lot more. People are getting the, um, the flash cards and uh, the EverDrives, and they're not really caring about the original hardware as much. And I know it sounds bad, but it's kind of good for people who don't do want the original artwork, do want the original case. Um, I was talking to one of the doctors I work with today, and we were talking about his passion for movies. He collects DVDs and all, and it's because he says he wants the original. It's just, it's no different from game collecting. You know, you want to be able to pick up a piece of history and be able to play it. Um, sure, are these games the best games in the world? No. I mean, there's better Ghost Recon games, I'm positive. But it's really cool to be able to play on something like this. Now, this, this system is so obscure. I mean, in like, even now, when you ask people, hey, did you ever play the end gauge? Most people that are not, especially if they're not gamers, don't even know what the fuck the N-Gage is. So even gamers are like an N-Gage. And, you know, some people, not all, not, you know, making, trying to say that gamers are dumb. I'm just saying that not a lot of people know about the system. 
And uh, like I said, I've always wanted this when I was in high school. Never could get it. And when it came through the game, my local video game store, I knew right away. I told him, I said, I'll take that right now. And I got a great deal on it. Um, and that's another thing right now. The games are really cheap. Um, I think the most expensive game, which my game store has, is the Elder Scrolls game. Um, and like on eBay, that's going for over $100. And at the retro game store, I think he wants 70 for it. So I'm going to wait, um, see if I can win more gift cards. Like I want it to, he has a video game competition each week and you get a $25 gift card. Maybe if I stack a couple of them up, I'll be able to purchase it. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to just go ahead and have an adventure of the N-Gage. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Has anybody played the N-Gage? Uh, do you think it's a stupid collection? Probably do. Most of my friends, when I was excited to tell them that I got the N-Gage, none of them really cared. They're like, big deal. I'm playing PS4. The graphics suck. The, you know, everything. But I don't know. I guess it's the collector in me. Anyway, guys, um, I've, if you haven't noticed, I've been putting out more content, and I plan on doing couple of videos a week like I've been doing so uh, some will be vlogs some will be gameplay um, and if you're new to the channel which I have a couple new subscribers just know that I'm going to be doing vlogs because that's what the channel is built on gaming vlogs and I'll be doing gameplays and I'm going to start streaming more which I tried to stream a couple times last weekend it didn't work out the I don't know why I kept my computer kept crashing but anyway guys until next time Herbors out